BigTractorPower.com is at Mayer Equipment in Jeffersonville, Ohio. This is one of the most exciting and interesting Agco dealerships that we know of. Agco is a modern worldwide brand that includes Massey Ferguson, Fent Tractors, Gleaner, Sunflower Tillage Equipment. Mayer Equipment is always exciting because not only do they have the biggest modern machines, but they also have a great lineup of classic tractors that make up the Agco heritage and we're going to take a look at a few just sitting on the lot here today. Here we can see a 190 XT console. It's got a cab on it which is a rare option and as we walk down here into the back of the lot there are some very standout tractors in Agco's history. Agco originally stood for the Alice Gleaner Company and Alice Chalmers was one of the big brands that started Agco. Here we have a rare console control Alice Chalmers with a narrow front. Most were wide front like the one that we just saw. It's a 190. One of Alice Chalmers last tractors was the 8070. This is a big muscle tractor with turf tires up front, dual wheels. The first orange tractor from Agco was the Deutz Alice 9100 series. Here we have a two-wheel drive 9130. We've got an amazingly clean and nice looking Alice Chalmers 4W220 parked over here. There were less than 200 of these tractors made in the early 1980s. The Alice Chalmers 8070 that we just looked at kind of displaced the smaller four-wheel drive from the market. Over here we have an Alice Chalmers 220 land handler, front wheel assist, again a very rare option. There were about a hundred of these 220s built with that front wheel assist option. This is a very cool tractor to see. And then tucked over here is another part of the Agco history from the white line. It's an Oliver 2655 four-wheel drive. Again, another tractor that doesn't just show up on every Agco dealer's lot. Here are some great parts of Agco history. A Massey Ferguson 1100. Definitely not something that you see sitting on every Agco dealer lot is a Cockshut 1755. These are Oliver tractors that were painted Zumac red for the Canadian market. You can see this is an early 1970s model where it has white on the hood as well as still having the Cockshut on target logo. Then we've got an Alice Chalmers 220. There are a pair of them sitting here together. You can see the difference in the grills. This was the big tractor power of its day in the late 1960s for Alice Chalmers. Tractors like this Massey Ferguson 8650 are the modern face of Agco. But brands like Alice Chalmers, White, Oliver, Minneapolis Moline, all are part of the great history of big tractors like this that we see at Mayer Equipment today. Minneapolis Moline is another part of the Agco history. Here we have a G1350 Minneapolis Moline. This was the big tractor from Moline in the early 1970s. We can see it still has the white motors dealership that it was sold from and the decal on it. Again the white name started to appear on tractors from Moline and Oliver and Cockshut in the early 1970s. And the great thing about Mayer equipment is you can get a history lesson just walking around the lot. Here's a white 6145. This would have been one of the first new white tractors rolled out by Agco in the early 1990s and it encompasses the Moline, Oliver, and Cockshot heritage. 
Here we can see a Deutz Alice 9150 in green. These were actually built by White Motors in Coldwater, Ohio. When Agco took over, they changed the color from the Deutz Spring Green back to the Alice Chalmers Orange. And here we see a 9170 in that color. But if you look at the cabs, they all came from white. The orange, the green, and the silver cab all are the same. The only thing that was different between them was the air-cooled Deutz engine in the orange and the green ones, and then white used a Cummins motor. Later on, the Agco tractors also went to Cummins, and the white and Alice names were taken off and became simply Agco. And here we see a DT200A, which would have come out around 2001. So we hope that you've enjoyed the history that we can put together here just walking around the Mayor Equipment lot here in Ohio. And we always look forward to visiting this exciting dealership. Thank you for watching BigTractorPower.com. Visit our website to link to over 1,000 YouTube videos and to our Facebook page where we do daily tractor posts on history and farm equipment.